All right, example six. Now we're seeing this new thing where we have like a fraction kind of mixed with order of operations. So the rule here is you simplify the top following order of operations, simplify the bottom, and then we'll get rid of the fraction. So we'll kind of simplify the top and the bottom separately. If you type this entire statement on your calculator, it will be wrong. So when I say type it, 12.5 plus 3, division, right, maybe for a fraction, and then minus over 9 times 2, 9 minus 2 times 2. Uh, this is not the answer. The calculator isn't quite understanding what we're asking of it. So we are going to simplify the top and the bottom separately. So the top would be 12.5 plus 3, which is a single operation, so we'll just go ahead and add. So on top, we're gonna to get 15.5. The bottom, um, we're gonna follow order of operations, so it's not nine minus two, right? Multiplication comes first. So we'll get nine minus four, which is five. So we've done order of operations on the top and bottom separately. We'll go ahead and combine them. And then we just divide, right? Fractions technically mean division. So divide to get rid of the fraction. Three point one. So the division sign is fractions on the calculator. Notice this is different than when we typed it all at once. The calculator just didn't understand that it was this big complicated fraction. So it wasn't quite doing what we asked of it. Cool, so leave questions below.